Greetings Multiverse and we're here with a rather strange trailer that dropped thanks to The Rock um, as some sort of real sort of teaser for something going on on the Super Bowl on Sunday and I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know really what this is about. I don't know what those spooky eyes are in my window right now that are kind of creeping me out. I believe got some stuff from Black Adam and The Flash in there that had never been seen before. Obviously this is the Batman right here. But I'm, I'm going to check it out. It's, it's called The World Needs Heroes. Sounds promising, but if this is just our first look at Black Adam and The Flash or another look at them before the trailer and we'll actually get the trailers on Sunday. I'm all for it. So I'm gonna check it out. I'm totally blind. Let's go, shall we? Yeah, okay. Go! Yeah. Who are you under there? A bit. What are you hiding? Oh! My son dreamt of a better world. That's why he saved me. What? Okay. Oh, let's go. Flash. Any timeline, any universe. <laughs> Why'd fight to save this one? Fight to say this one, that's different. Oh, Aquaman! What could be greater than a king? <laughs> oh, awesome! A hero. What was all that? <laughs> what was that? Oh, that looks good. That looks, suit looks good. If we don't stand up, no one will. I can't wait for that film. Yes! Oh, oh man! Glorious world out there. Dr. Fate! Yes! 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 Are you in? Hell yeah. I want a better shot of Supergirl. Oh my god, I don't know what was the money shot and all that, but there was some amazing stuff in there. Is this just a teaser for a proper trailer dropping alongside the Super Bowl on Sunday? If so, my god. That's the, this is just the tiniest of tiniest glimpses of a possible trailer, and I am already so excited. The, the JSA, we got the entire freaking JSA in there, including Atom Smasher, Dr. Fate, Hawkman. Oh, look at Dr. Fate! Oh, Dr. Fate looks incredible! Oh, and we got proper with them about masks as well, including Pierce Brosnan in there. Oh, it's too much. I hate to say it, but the Batman stuff in there was possibly the least exciting. That's it. I can't believe I'm just saying that. I can't believe I just said that. I'm so excited for the Batman. But not that matters. Then you get stuff like this. Come on. That suit looks really, really good. I like the textures on it. I like the... I like the... <laughs> The shades that come down, yeah, like that in front of Barry's eyes. That looks really good to me. It looks very distinct. It looks very like the Flash. I mean, Zack Snyder has said that the one in Justice League is specifically like a prototype costume. This is one that Barry has just cobbled and sewn and strapped together out of like parts from the space shuttle, basically. So it's not his final suit. This is, and that looks really damn cool to me it really does i'm very happy with how this suit looks already i have complete faith in this movie as being a flash movie no less notice we didn't get any of michael keaton's batman in there we barely got any of supergirl most of it was from the teaser trailer we saw back at fandom which you can find uh, my reaction to <laughs> at DC Comics Gamer. I'm very happy with little bits we've seen. We got some of Aquaman in there. There you go, him in his new stealth suit. Um, presumably standing in the Lost Kingdom of the title, uh, I, which I've also got a video on, which I did about long, long before the title of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom was revealed. Yeah, aren't I great? But yeah, this comes out supposedly a month after The Flash, so it's not unusual that we're getting very very little from Aquaman but I am pretty damn certain that it's going to be put off to 2023. It may not because it is unusual for movies to get switched around at this late stage but a month after The Flash and the same day as Avatar 2 it seems a lot odd. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see and this is this is a 2022 trailer. I should point out. So at the moment, at the moment, it's still down for 2022. <laughs> a month after The Flash. That just seems 
Who decided that? Who decided on that schedule? That's unimportant. Let's move on to Black Adam, which is clearly the meat of this trailer. They know, we know, that the Batman has already got loads of stuff out. We don't need to see any more of it. We just need a quick reminder of it in this. So it's all just stuff from the fandom trailer, not any of the even more recent trailers, which I'm fine with. Black Adam. That was a great way to start this. This is all Black Adam. This this is a whole teaser for the Black Adam trailer on Sunday, which I already knew was coming, but to see this teaser reveal basically all the characters, all the JSA, the Justice Society, I love it. I can't believe they're basically getting away with the Justice Society of all things, and I'm very happy about that fact alongside Black Adam. <laughs> so good, that's, yeah. Black Adam there looking so freaking good. I'm going to have a real struggle of who to put in the thumbnail for this video. Ah, Hawkman. Yes. Carter Hall. Kater Hall. Well, I want to pronounce it, but yeah. Hawkman in a DC Comics movie. Alongside Dwayne Johnson as the Ro as Black Adam in 2022. Wow. As the next movie after a Batman movie. <laughs> We're getting Batman, then we're getting Justice Society. Of course. This is great. This is really great. Black Adam is going to be low-key one of the, the big hits of this year and the big comic book moves of this year. People underestimate it at their peril. This looks so much fun. And notice the, I think it's the Thanagarian ship behind him. I, I don't know. I don't know what a Thanagarian ship looks like in the DCEU. So I'm only guessing it is. Excellent. And of course, the man himself, Pierce Brosnan, one of my favourite actors, Kent Nelson, Dr. Fate. Oh, after the Batman, we're getting a movie with Dr. Fate in it. Yes! <laughs> oh... I swear, if Superman, or even Wonder Woman, or one of the DC of the heroes just all turn up in this film, I am going to lose it in the theatre. I really am. Uh, I am so excited for this, and I keep on forgetting that I'm excited about it. That, that's, that's a weird paradox, I know. I, I keep on forgetting that this movie is coming out, and out soon. It's only a few months from now, and this Sunday will be the... Well, this is pretty much but from the little tiny tease at fandom this is pretty much the best we've seen of the movie so far and we'll probably get a full trailer on sunday and i will probably be doing a full reaction to it on sunday yeah <laughs> i'm gonna leave it there because yeah sunday is gonna be the meat by the sounds of it but yeah this was great and it was great to see uh, a Better look at the Flash's costume. I wish we got a better look at Supergirl. We've still got basically nothing on her in terms of pictures, apart from that one shot at the end of this with um, the two, her and the two Flashes. This looks great, and I look forward to the trailer on Sunday. What do you guys think of this? What do you think of the Black Adam trailer um, coming out on Sunday? Are you excited for it? Are you excited for the movie? Are you excited for the rest of the stuff here? Let me know in the comments below or on the Inside the Multiverse Discord server. That's the DC Comics podcast I run with Taladia Plays. And we've just had the most recent episode out on yeah Gotham Knights and the Suicide Squad delay. And a bit on the Batman and the Flash in there too. Check that out as well. And yeah, link to the Discord below. We're very active in there. And of course, like, share and subscribe. That already helps me out. And check out other videos on DC Comics Gamer. I don't have that much on Black Adam, but I've got a lot on the Batman, Gotham Knights, Suicide Squad, even one on Aquaman. Why not? <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. And for now, Multiverse, out. Oh, what are those eyes?